So real quickly, uh, pest control. It's, uh, if somebody says they don't have any problems with insects in their greenhouse, they're uh, not telling you the truth. There are almost always insects in the greenhouse. Your uh, aphids and whiteflies, uh, mealybugs and scale are the, are the big offenders and the most, uh, most commonly encountered. Now, uh, we like to use products that are a little safer in the greenhouse because you have a closed environment and neem oil is something you can spray on your plants that's gonna suffocate the insects. So that's uh, one of the safer products to use is neem oil. There are also sticky traps. This is a blue, it's called a greenhouse trap. And then there's also the yellow, these are, the yellow ones work for uh, white fly. Peel this paper off and it's very sticky. And you hang that in the upper part or near the upper part of the plant because the insects fly up. They don't fly down to the, but if you're r raising tomatoes and you have white fly, and you shake the plant and a cloud of white fly come off, well, uh, it's probably too late for this and take a plant outside. But if there's just a few, uh, just tap your plant every day and a few insects will fly and get attached to this. And you know, a month later you throw this away and put up a new one. So that's a, a good organic way to take care of uh, pests in the greenhouse. The other problem we have in, in greenhouses would be slugs and snails and uh, we have a, yeah, we got a slug pub here. So this is a, the original name was slug pub, or slug hotel, but you just pour beer in here and the, the, the slugs can crawl in. You can put this on to keep the rain out if you're using outside, but there's the, there's the holes here where they can crawl in. Then you can just pick this up and hose it off. So. The, uh, other, the other problem we sometimes have in the winter months would be mice and rats uh, know where there's a warm place to make a nest and they tend to, if you have any in your neighborhood, they might like your greenhouse. Well, there are ultrasonic little devices that you can plug into an outlet in your greenhouse and they put out these ultrasonic wave uh, that you can't hear, but it irritates uh, the rodents and uh, hopefully that'll keep them out of the greenhouse.